Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 27. And we'll start in verse 26. And in the sixth month, sixth month of uh, Elizabeth's pregnancy, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. We're up north. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. All right. So Mary's husband is named Joseph. And there's not much said about him. And Joseph is of the house of David. Now let's go back to Matthew chapter 1 and check out Joseph's family. And we're given the genealogy of Jesus Christ to prove who he is. Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, the book of the generations of Jesus Christ, the son of David. You see, I mean, a son in the Bible can be great, 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 great grandchild. The son of Abraham, great, 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 great grandchild. Abraham begat Isaac. Isaac begat Jacob. Jacob begat Judas. It's Judah and his brother. Notice Judas in the New Testament is the same name for Judah. Judah, the name, betrays Jesus Christ. And Judas begat Pharaoh and, and Zerar of Tamar. Pharaoh begat Esron. Esron begat Amram. Amram begat Aminadab. And Aminadab begat Nason. And Nason begat Salmon. Salmon begat Boaz of Rechab. And Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. And Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king. Joseph is from a kingly line of Jews. This is where Jesus Christ can claim by adoption, chosen by Joseph for the kingly line. And Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon, of her that had been the wife of Uriah. Ooh. You got to mention sins. Where Christ hasn't died. Solomon begat Ro Robom, and Robom begat Abiah, and Abiah begat Asa, and Asa begat Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat begat Joram, and Joram begat Ozias. These are the kings of Judah. And Ozias begat Jotham, and Jotham begat Achaz, and Achaz begat Ezekus, e and Ezekus begat Manasseh, and Manasseh begat Ammon, and Ammon begat Josias, and Josias begat Jeconias and his brethren about the time they were carried away to Babylon. All right, those are the kings carried away to Babylon. Oh, let's pick up in verse 15. Elud beget Eliezer. Now, notice the names that come back. And Eliezer beget Methan, and Methan beget Jacob. And Jacob beget Joseph. Okay, make sure you're not talking about that Jacob in the Old Testament. The husband of Mary. Of whom was born Jesus. Not, not Joseph and Benjamin. But uh, Jesus who is called Christ. That is the line of Joseph. The adopted father of Jesus Christ. Where Jesus can proclaim that he is of the Jewish family by adoption, a legal event. All right. Joseph's genealogy, he's good natured and he's just. This is Joseph, Matthew 1 19. Matthew chapter 1, verse 19. We read, and Joseph, her husband, being a just man. As we're studying Proverbs, all the just men we're reading about, that is Joseph. Joseph was a, I mean, I don't mean Proverbs is about Joseph. Joseph is the just man, the examples that we see in Proverbs. He's not the unjust. 
You know, he's a sinner. The Bible says that he was a just man, not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. He wasn't going to make Mary a public example. He's obedient to God. Matthew 1, 24. And Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took her unto him his wife. He obeyed God. 2, 14. Chapter 2, verse 14. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into angel. He was told that by the angel of the Lord, verse 13. So he obeys God. He's just. Back to Luke chapter 2, verse 41. Luke 2, 41. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. He obeys the law. That says much. Because by the time we get to Jesus being a dope, those festivals, if I can say, have become the Jewish festivals and not God's. There are three times a year that the male were to be presented to Jerusalem and Joseph takes Jesus and takes the whole family Matthew 13 55 everybody knows this one but I wonder if they can find it in the Bible now come on that's I'm not trying to pick on you just trying to find in the Bible I was stumped today when I was doing second John epistle study I went to the wrong place in the Bible, and that's a shame to me. 1355, is not this the carpenter's son? So Joseph was a carpenter. And not his mother called Mary. That's his wife. And his brethren, James and Joseph and Simeon, or Simon and Judas, and his sisters. Joseph had children with Mary. The Bible says that she was a virgin. There was no sexual activity. Isaiah 7.14. Isaiah 7.14. When I say that, what I just said, we're going to match it with Isaiah 7.14. In Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and call his name Emmanuel. A virgin shall conceive. No sexual activity. Joseph is not the father by physical intercourse. You got to get that. Jesus Christ came from a virgin Matthew 118 Matthew 118 you have to believe this to be saved you know now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise this is the wisdom of Christ's birth when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. She has been impregnated without a man. Verse 25, same chapter, verse 125. And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. When Jesus was born, after that, Joseph and Mary came together, the husband and wife, the marriage bed. 
But for the nine months, from eight, verse 18 to 25, there was no relations between Mary and Joseph. There was relations after, but not during and not before. Luke 134. Luke 134. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. The Bible records, a medical doctor records. A tax collector which has to record a birth for taxes has recorded. A prophet of God has recorded to you that this child is without man. No marriage bed. Now God is the Father. John 1.14 Gospel of John, verse one, uh, chapter one, verse fourteen. John, chapter one, verse fourteen. And the Word, capital W, go back to one one. Look at that. Was made flesh. Incarnation of God the Son became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory and the glory as the only begotten of the father capital L full of grace and truth John 3:16 John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. 1 John 4, 9. All right, let's get two points as we turn to 1 John 4, 9. Jesus Christ is not the son by marriage bed of Joseph. Joseph, uh, Joseph adopts Jesus, but he is not the biological father. God is the father of Jesus Christ by a virgin birth, a sign to Israel. In chapter 4, verse number 9. And this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten son, into the world. Verse 14. We have seen and do testify that the Father, capital F, sent the Son, capital S. Verse 15. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, you have to believe this. You have to believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. If you don't, you're not saved. Somebody comes to you and says, Well, I'll say, do you believe that Jesus was virgin born? Well, no, I don't. Well, you're not saved. You want to ask somebody, if you're dealing with somebody, if you want to know if they're saved, ask them if Jesus Christ virgin born. He had no human father. Ask him if Jesus is God. Especially if he's been messing with the Jehovah Witnesses. And you can go into the study that we're doing in the epistle of 2 John. It is vital. Now the Jews were wrong. You say, what do you mean? John 6, 42. John chapter 6, 42. The Jews were wrong. John 6, 42. In 
in John chapter 6, verse 42, the Jews were wrong. Yeah, sticky pages here. And they said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? No. Now they're talking about Joseph as the biological father of Jesus. They ain't talking or thinking about the virgin birth or the adoption. They're wrong. He is and has been proclaiming and will proclaim that he is the Son of God. John chapter 1 verse 45. John chapter 1 verse 45. So if you were to talk to a Jew today, you can't believe the testimony that he'll tell you about Jesus. In John chapter 1, verse 45, Philip finds Nathanael and says unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Well, not really. He's the son of God. But by now, Jesus really hasn't revealed who he is. He's just starting his ministry. But Joseph is not his father. Luke 4.22 Luke 4.22 In Luke 4.22 Again, And all bear him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which Proceed out of his mouth, and they said, Is not this Joseph's son? No. Not after the revelation that he picked up Isaiah and said, Listen, this Isaiah, you've seen it happen right now. I am. He's reading verse 18. I am the one that Isaiah is spoke, speaking about. So he's not the son of Joseph. He's the son of God. Look what Jesus said in Luke chapter oh, Luke chapter 2 verse number 48. Now Mary is going to get on the defensive here. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou dwelt with us? Behold, thy father... And I have sought thee sorrowing. <laughs> We're your parents, son. What are you, what, are you, what are you doing here? What would Jesus answer? And he, Jesus, said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye, no, wist ye not that I must be about my capital F Father's business? Where is Jesus? He's in the temple. All right, he may have to work with Joseph as the carpenter, but he was not a carpenter. His business at age 12, he says, hey, I'm at my business right now, and that's the temple. How's that? He's doing his father's business. He's doing the business of a priest. He's checking out the doctors and all them. There. Hey, what do you guys really know? He's checking out the spiritual condition and the religious system in his time at 12 years old. And we'll get into chapter 2 later and how he has to obey his parents. Yeah, he did carpenter work, but he's not a carpenter. He's not a carpenter's son. Didn't we just read? He's God's son. So be careful what you say. Be careful of your bumper stickers. Now, Joseph adopted Jesus to be his legal son. And we see that Joseph's father, Mary's father-in-law, Jesus' grandfather, Matthew 1.16, was J Jacob. So Jesus would have to call Jacob grandpa. 
Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Now that's not the Jacob, but there's that name, Jacob. You remember what that name meant? It meant surplanter. I wonder why he was what his grandpa wasn't called Israel. You know what the spiritual tradition of Israel is going to be when Jesus gets his ministry? They're sick, they're foul, they're they're, they're got evil spirits running around and leprosy. Anytime he walks into a city, there's someone with leprosy. And again, he's a spouse without sexual intercourse, Matthew 1.18, Luke 1.27, and Matthew 1.19, we are told. We are given those facts about Joseph. Now, Luke 1.28, we're moving on. We broke out of the gate, and here we go, very slow, as the Lord will stop us and learn. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail! I don't feel no hail. No, that's a greeting. Thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. You know we're going to stop here. You ever wonder where this was? So it came in onto her. So she's in a room somewhere. She's in a she's in a building. Zacharias, we are told he's in the he's in the holy place. Where's he show up for Mary? I wonder. Now I'm going to take a guess here, but I can assume maybe 99 percent that God chosen Mary, who who was who was a virgin, who was right. She had a godly man. I would assume that she's home in her house doing her chores, doing what she's supposed to be. She's not the strange woman that we've been reading about in Proverbs. I can safely assume that. I can maybe assume too that maybe she's a, she's some points like the, the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. I assume that. By saying she's highly favored, the Lord is with thee, and blessed art thou among women. I, I would think that she's home doing what she's supposed to do, and she's not watching soap operas, and she's not into any nasty habits, and, and she's pure. I would assume that. Mary was a special chosen young lady of all the Jewish females. And you wait to see what her genealogy is when we get to that. She's of David too, you know, just not the kingly line. So of all the women, the ladies in Israel, who are of, can say that their line is of David. Now, the note here says BC7. I don't know the date, but no better than I am studying of all the women in BC7, this one young lady was chosen. I think she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. All right, now. Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. You know what blessed means? It means happy. She's not taking any antidepressants. Her life ain't in misery, and oh, it's so terrible that I have to do house chores. Oh, man, I can reach out and be in a man's world. That's not Mary. She's happy. She's she's doing her work and probably singing old Jewish hymns, if not one of the Psalms, and, and just praising the Lord because the Lord praises her back. Wife, daughter, you are to be pleasing and blessed at your house doing what you're supposed to be doing. If you are not, you are, read what we have had. God is not liking to you if you're depressed and, and rolling and upset and stuff like that. The angel says you are blessed, you are happy. It's what the Bible says. 
You need to find out why you're not blessed. You need to get down with God on your knees and say, God, what is it that's separating you and I? What is it that I'm not highly favored among you? What is it that the Lord is, uh, you may be with me, but I'm not happy. Now it says, art thou among women? It does not say above. Let me spell it. It says A M O N G. It does not say A B O V E. He does not raise her up like some particular church does. It does not put Mary on a pedestal. She is still a normal Jewish young lady That's all she is you wait till she prophesies you know she's gonna prophesy what's gonna happen the people who are gonna worship her but jump ahead now it says art uh, it says the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women now let's look at judges 524 Judges 5.24, and this is interesting, because, you know, there's a church out there will say, Thou shalt not kill. You ever read Fox's Book of Martyrs? Judges 5, Judges 5.24. In Judges 5.24, we're going to read about a girl named J.L., In Judges 5.24, you know I love how God is. You know, we Wednesday night I couldn't see. My eyes were bad. We're reading, and my daughter is doing her homeschool and has just read about J.L. And here we are now talking about J.L. God works everything to his perfection. So, something about J.L. that my daughter needs to learn. Because here he is again, verily, verily. In Judges 5.24, we read, and we'll, all right, 5.24, blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. Do you know where Mary was? She, I don't know if it was a tent. She was home, according to that verse. If you match that verse with Luke 142, here are two same women. And J.L. was in the tent. Now, isn't that funny? Why doesn't the Roman Catholic Church raise up J.L. where it says she's a blessed above the women. And the church says, do not kill, thou shalt not kill. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Verse 25, he asked water, and she gave him milk, Ooh, gave him more. You know, if he smite the other cheek, give him the other cheek. She brought forth butter in a lordly dish. Hmm, baby, broke out the china. She put her hand to the nail, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. Oh, oh, okay. With the hammer, she smote Sisera. She smote off his head. Well, here's a woman that's above all women, and she's a, she killed somebody in battle, in war. And the church that raises up the wrong women says, Thou shalt not kill. Well, God said to the woman that killed the enemy of, of Israel, She's a blessed above all. The woman that's going to carry Jesus in her womb, Well, you are blessed among women. You see, God did not raise Mary. He raised Jael. How about that? Isn't that interesting? And you can copy this audio, this video. And you can put it on a CD. I give you full permission. It's not, it's not copyright. And you can send it off to your Roman Catholic friends. And let them bust a gear and, and, and break a move. The woman that is above is J.L. 
where the woman among is Mary. Now Luke chapter 1. Mark the wrong page. Hold on. Luke chapter 1 verse 29. I believe it's going to be much information. Let me just look real quick. Uh, yeah, we got a lot in Luke 1. No, I mean, I think we can do it. Let's try it. Luke 1 29. Let's break into another verse. And when she saw him, the angel, notice she said him, the angel, verse 28. Looks like a male. All angels are males. They're not females. She didn't say angel because he didn't have wings. Didn't wreck. This looked like a man. Probably startled her. All right. She was troubled at his saying. She's so humbled when he says, "Thou art highly favored, and the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women." You know what she did? Oh well, fall down and worship me. Here's my heart. I'll pray to my son for you. No, she's like me. You talking to me? How can you? I'm highly favored, and the Lord, the Lord's with me. I'm happy. Yeah, but you addressing me? It was trouble to say and cast in her mind. She's she's thinking. She's pondering. You're going to see. Mary's always casting things in her mind. She's thinking about things. You know she may be doing. She may be. Well, if the Lord is so with me, she may be thinking about her sins. <laughs> she may be so humble. As, why would He look at me? What am I? You know how many young ladies are in this town, in Nazareth, and you come talk to me? Do you see the difference she has between Zacharias? Do you see why we went over and over about Zacharias? Here this man walks into the holy place. And he's like, oh. Here's a guy walks into a house and says, and she's like, really? You sure you got the right woman? What a difference. What man is salutation? Salut salutation is... A greeting. It's a greeting. It's it's the beginning of a conversation or a letter. It's hail, and all the way down to art thou among women? That's the salutation. In mind what manner of salutation this would be. She is humble. God would have never chosen a proud woman. A typical American woman. God would never chose a woman where the angels said, Hi there, hi there. I know it's me. About time you got here. You never. Well, just let me go tell everybody. God has chosen me. Mm -hmm. No. You wouldn't chose him. You know, stick the nose up and it's me, not you. You would never done that. Highly favored. Who me? I am just a poor Jewish girl. And even Gideon had the same reaction. Lord, uh, really? I'm out here trying to get some wheat behind this place because the enemy, I mean, they're just all around us. I'm this great man and I'm a wimp? Wow. The Lord. That's God, Jehovah, is speaking to Mary. With me is why me? Who am I? And it's the same reaction that David had. Well, who am I, Lord, that you're going to bless my family? 
Lord, I want to build you a house, and you turn around and say, you're going to bless my house? Whew. Somewhere along the line, the communications got mixed up, Lord. It's supposed to be you. And you take this greeting, and, and we're going to leave off with this. This is a great thing to leave off. This greeting, and there's yet better news coming. We'll leave off with this salutation, but you wait to see what else is going to be said. And you watch her reaction compared to what Zachariah's reaction. You know what happened to Zachariah has happened to the foundation of Israel. What's going to happen to Mary has never, ever happened and never will ever happen again. You watch the reactions. 